She's epic. Somehow it's day nine of the Asian Championships. And again, somehow the training hall also is still staying pretty high level for now. Obviously there's bigger athletes lifting. We saw Lesman Paredes doing his heavy snatch session as we said he was going to. Finally, apparently, the big Iranian boys, Ali Davoudi and co, went heavy. I don't know what they hit. Uh, I haven't seen it. So we've got all of the train stuff here. I'm gonna take a look. Uh, we also had the men's 89s and the women's 76s. Penku Atin is a whole type of vibe. We're big fans of her. But I'm gonna react to this stuff that Nick has filmed. So let's take a look. Oh, also a reminder, uh, the Weather to House belt is 40% off for the day, which is kind of just unbelievable. So go get yourself a 40% off Weather to House leather belt. Let's get into it. Okay, there's been looking thick as always with his Ferrari shoes. What are the odds that he got those since moving to Bahrain? 100%. You know he didn't get those in, in Colombia. That's a Bahrain speciality, the Ferrari shoes. So Lesman has been showing us that he likes to sort of do various warm-up exercises. I actually think I mentioned this at the World Championships, how he muscle snatched up to 115 kilos for a double before he hit that world record at 187 uh, to beat Sarab's 186. And I noted how I'd seen more and more athletes start to do this since Lash Tanakadze made it a little bit more popular. He always muscle snatches. Sometimes even recently he started the whole muscle snatch plus overhead squat. And then he drops back down and he starts snatching. Looks like uh, Lesman does the same thing, whether that's just something that the best snatchers in the world do or whether that's something that athletes have gone off. Lash, I don't know. That 115 was very... Easy and then hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, wow. are you sure? Yeah, that first round was very easy though. Uh, <laughs> he looks done for. I don't think that was a, for lack of poly, I think that bar was just a little bit out front. When it's out front in a, in a uh, muscle snatch, there's almost nothing you can do. Okay, so then he built up in the snatch. Presumably he did 70, 100, 120 before this. Well, pulls out 140 so high. So high, it's unbelievable. We saw Antropov yesterday do that 140 kilo power snatch in the training hall. It's nothing like Lesman. I still think that battle between Lesman and Artem Antropov is going to be the one of the most exciting sessions. Uh, and then throw in the mix, Chempo Jen, he's presumably in pretty decent shape. But I, when I first turned up, I thought it's obvious that Lesman's going to win this. But actually, I think if Antropov can make a decent snatch, if, if if Lesman doesn't go over 180 and Antropov manages a 170, I'm I'm this close to saying that Antropov's going to sneak it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That 170 looked it looked fine. I feel I feel like Lesman's the sort of lifter where because he's so long limbed, he's never going to make a lift just look like crisp. Every time he lifts something, there's a little wobble. Even at 140, even at 120, but it's just more. You know, his center of mass with that barbell overhead is so high. Whereas, you know, with someone like uh, Andropov, he's just got those short arms, it's just not quite the same. So that's 200 kilos on the pause, front squat double. I'd say that in general, I'm surprised probably by how much uh, squatting Lesman's been doing. Compared to the other, I mean, these other athletes are built very differently. They're doing a lot of heavy pulling. Lesman's definitely focusing way more on this. He has done a few pulls, but only up to what, 190 kilos in the snatch pull, 215 in the clean pull. Oh, so Antropov trained. I actually did not know that. Presumably he and Nagisa didn't go particularly heavy. Mm -hmm. I reckon Nagisa will out-snatch Antropov. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, 120. I feel like I've not seen a lot of Nagisa's tra like actual training, other than just random TikTok videos and- Him picking funny, up bars, yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing. Like I haven't seen a whole lot of what, what he's capable of. Were they training at the same time as Lesbian? Was this uh, interestingly, Antropov walked in as soon as Lesman put down the 170. Ah, uh, okay, so he missed it. But he knew. He, he, he knew yeah. what happened. He knew what happened. But then again, he knew what happened, but also he hit that 200 yesterday. Lesman knows what happened there. Yeah, Lesman's like, coach was watching him yeah, pretty closely yesterday. 100%. So 180 here. This is definitely a battle now that... Well, actually, I think Gore versus... Uh, Gore versus Ali Davoudi is going to be big. Supposedly, Ali Davoudi does something here, some kind of... Uh, excited to see how that looks. I'm also keen to see what sort of shape Nagusa Adilatil is in in the clean and jerk because he's always been a snatch specialist and now he's gained weight up from 89 to 96. 150 back squat at 55 for Zulfia. It's just ridiculous. Mm. 
This is, uh, that's one of the Kazakh Supers, isn't it? 100 kilos, looking very comfortable. And then 105 for the other Kazakh Super. Yeah. Yeah, I don't actually know a huge amount about them. I think the women's 87s though, the category before this is gonna be fun. That's tomorrow. Uh, we've, no, yeah, it's tomorrow. We've got um, Jabarova, and then we've got Mugjanstam from Mongolia. So that battle there's gonna be big. Okay, 150, he's so enormous, isn't he? He's absolutely colossal. He's taller and wider than the other Iranian supers. Cheeky power plus four. That's right around 75%. We actually noticed that during the competition today, we had four Iranian supers who could all snatch over 200 kilos in the same room. We had Rezazadeh, Salimi, uh, Ali Hosseini, and then the guy who took the silver in 2012, whose name I can't remember. And also, Gore was in the room, so there were five over 200s. And then later in the day, these two turned up. So in total, seven 200 kilo plus snatches were in that room. 170. Did he power that first round? I actually was thinking about the other lifters. He doubled 170. Mm. That is a wonky snatch, isn't it? That's insane. But he corrects it right around yeah. the point where he makes contact, which is just like mind blowing that his body's 180. That looks pretty comfortable, I would say, three days out of competition. I don't know this other super very well. Obviously that looked a little bit heavier. Uh, but it's actually amazing how many supers there are. We have the two that are at the World Championships. Both mm -hmm. of them are in great shape. 190. You know it. I did not expect any super to be doing this three days out. He has snatched two or four in training recently. And then he sent us that video of the 250 plus clean and jerk, 252 or something. Which is something that Gore can't do right now. That, that 190 was smooth, he's doing pulls at 200. I imagine he's gonna open at around 95. Gore's gonna open at 200. So there's no way in which Gore's gonna open under 200, surely. 190. Looks very comfortable. I'm actually impressed that they went as heavy as this. This is a really good, was this fun to a film? Who was there coaching? Ali Hosseini yeah. was there. Yeah. Salimi was at the venue, I think pretty much yeah. all day. So he presumably yeah, he wasn't there for this, yeah. He was helping out. There was a, two Iranians in the 89s, Masoud Chatray, uh, and then the other guy whose name I'm blanking. And then there was uh, one of the women in the 76s. That's 210. Pretty comfortable stuff there. I think the biggest we've seen is Gore 220, isn't it? Clean and jerk. Yeah. yeah. What's that? That's also 210. That's very easy. I don't know what it is about Iran producing so many good heavier athletes. They're sort of from 96 and up, particularly. Mm. I guess they're just a taller group of people in general. So they're just likely to have more people who will yeah. ultimately become super heavyweights. Wait, what's this? 60, 90, 210, 220, 230. This is the heaviest clean and jerk of the training hall so far. This is gonna say a lot really, because based on this, we're gonna have a pretty good feel for what he's gonna be able to open with for his uh, competition. I did 95 in this snatch. I think Gore might have some real trouble on his hands. Yeah, I really do. I think that could be, that could be a light opener or it could even be a backroom lift. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out 240-ish. Mm -hmm. He has had issues with locking out in the past, which is a little worrying. That's 250. This is 150, 90, 240, 260, 290. What's crazy is when you compare the speed, like it's obviously impressive, but when you compare the speed of that to Lasher doing 330, or there's an Ali Hosseini video of 370 from back in the day, so much slower. This is 260, 80, 300. So this is also the heaviest back squat that we've seen in the training hall. So yesterday was the heaviest day. Today was heavier by some way. Lesman's heavier and the two supers went heavier. There's a great video of Rizazadeh squatting. I it's either 320 or 360 at the Sydney Olympics in the training hall. So fast. That's Surprisingly grindy almost from Ali Davoudi. I think that was his second. His second one, yeah. Second double. Ali Hosseini show. That's impressive. 
Mm. Right? Have you tried that before? The other do coaches that in training tried, yeah. He's still so strong. I mean, I know it's only 50 kilos, but like just the way that he does that. I know just with a lot of the Iranian supers. Oh, he does a lot. Oh, it's a few reps at the start as well. So he's got like a set of 20 or something. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of the Iranian heavy lifters, when they go, they go behind the neck a lot, they don't come all the way down, they just don't put the pressure on their rear delts, they just come down to kind of this height, and then up so they're working a little more on that partial range of motion, but that's a big day in the training hall. I'm actually really excited, I think we have two huge battles on our hands, one on the Saturday, one on Sunday. Lesman versus Antropov I think will be a big deal, uh, and then Gore versus Davudi also going to be big. The other Iranian super, I'm sure he'll do well. Likewise, I guess Edelatuli could do really well, Chempo Jan could do really well, but I'm kind of putting those two, I think the head, head to head is what I'm kind of predicting with that. Let's take a quick look at the, or we'll talk about the, the actual competition today. We have the women's 76s at Penkui Ting show, and we are all in love with Penkui Ting as it stands. She's just so fun to watch. She's got this like moody teenager thing going, which we've all found very funny watching her like double loading the collars on the plates or watching anime when she's training or all these sorts of things. And her lifting is just so crazy. She opened at 115 kilos, so she's obviously thinking about a world record at 125. And the curse of the shows and championships, every world record attempt has just been scuppered. Uh, she made the 115, looked really good. She took two attempts at 120. Uh, you'll see them now. They were, they were close, but they just, they just won that. Uh, and then in the clean and jerk, things are very easy. Three for three. On her final lift, she barely stood up the clean. Uh, she did eventually get up, popped it, caught it, her back went, and she sort of jarred her back a little bit. She shook her head as if to be like, well, that's, that's that done. But nobody tells Penkui Tin she can't make a lift, not even her. She said, screw you, Penkui Tin. And she, uh, she just decided on the spot, let's give this a crack, and jerked it, and she was fired up. She dropped the bar, slammed it a few times. That actually, that 115 snatch is a no lift technically. She drops the bar, uh, she lets go above her shoulders, which we've only ever seen one person called for in competition. It's Kate Viber at the Olympic Games. Um, but she got away with it because she was so fired up. She sold it really well. So, very fun. Tomorrow we've got the, uh, we've got Jamborova versus Mungjan Stan in the women's 87s. I think that's the session of tomorrow. That's the top one. Then 96 is obviously Saturday, supers. Oh, and 102 is Miso, obviously, uh, versus Reza. And then Supers and 109s uh, and other Supers on the Sunday. So it's going to be big. Uh, that's it from us. 40% off Weightlifting House Leather Belt. Make sure you uh, check that out. Make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you all tomorrow.